नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन दैट इज ऑल्सो वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग इज कंट्री एक्स जी डी पी हायर देन कंट्री वाई जी डी पी इज टेली एक्स इज हायर देन वाई इज इट इज इट एक्स इज मोर देन वाई और नॉट स्टेटमेंट वन जी डी पी ऑफ द कंट्री एक्स एंड वाई हैव ग्रोन ओवर द पास्ट फाइव ईयर्स एट कंपाउंडेड एनुअल रेट ऑफ फाइव परसेंट एंड सिक्स परसेंट नाउ इफ एनी थिंग इज ग्रोइंग विद द फाइव परसेंट इंटरेस्ट फाइव परसेंट रेट एंड अनदर इज ग्रोइंग बाई सिक्स परसेंट रेट देन ऑफकोर्स सिक्स परसेंट विल बी मोर बट इट विल डिपेंड्स ऑन वैल्यू ऑफ पी ऑल्सो बिकॉज पी इन टू वन प्लस आर वाई हंड्रेड टू द पावर एन दैट इज फॉर्मूला मीन्स पी ऑल्सो विल डिपेंड ओनली आर विल नॉट डिसाइड वाट विल बी द एग्जैक्ट आउटपुट then based on a statement to one we don't have data about value of principal amount or p means initial gdp just right now and uh, past or uh, before 5 years we don't have idea about the gdp value either country x or country y then we will not able to find or we will not able to solve this question only based on the statement one okay now we'll come to the next statement Five years ago, GDP of country X was higher than country Y. Now another point is there. If you will just consider a statement two, then again you will not able to give the answer because other data you don't have. What is the rate of increase of GDP X and Y? Now here, if you will just merge one and two, just you are merging one and two, then what is happening? You got rate, you got idea about P, both you got. Then based on that, it looks like. we should able to give the answer if you are combining one and two but one question is there 5 years ago gdp of country x was higher than country y but how much how much it was higher 100 into 1.05 to the power 3 and 110 1.06 to the power 3 which one will be more which one will be less that will depends on what is the difference between these two if difference is very less it will be compensated if difference is more it will not compensated means how much it is more that is one of the matter means combinedly also you are not able to give the answer means you have to mark d you have to mark d means if question cannot be 